Shalom, I'm Rabbi Leo D and I'm here to transform your day. Today's topic is happiness in three dimensions. I read a fascinating book on happiness by Professor Tal Ben Shahar of Harvard University. He had the honor of having the most successful series of lectures on the psychology of happiness attended by over 800 people at Harvard every week. And the book explains how he came up with his two-dimensional theory of happiness. You see, at the age of 15, Tal won an international squash competition. He trained heavily for five years, and then he said he wanted to go to his favorite hamburger joint and order a hamburger. But when he got there, he had a dilemma. You see, for five years, he hadn't eaten unhealthy food. He was training so hard. So when he went in there, ready to order his beautiful succulent meat hamburger, which he knew was bad for him in the long term, he thought, can I really do it? And then he suddenly realized that the hamburgers in this joint fell into four categories. On the one hand, he said, there were those hamburgers that were good for you, but generally didn't taste very nice, the veggie burgers. And that's what he'd eaten for the last five years. On the other hand, he said there were things which tasted delicious now, but he knew it was going to hurt him and give him heart disease in the future, like greasy meat burgers. Then he said, of course, there is the ideal hamburger, which he never discovered, which tastes delicious and is good for him. And of course, the worst of all, which is that veggie burger that is full of grease and tastes disgusting and actually doesn't do any good anyway in the long term. And so came along his two-dimensional theory of happiness. He said, happiness is really about doing things which make you happy now, but also in the long term. And sometimes we'll sacrifice happiness now for happiness in the long term. But the ideal is to find activities that can make us happy now, but also benefit us in the long term. And I thought, what a great idea. But then I thought, it's a two-dimensional theory and we live in a three-dimensional world. Is it possible that he missed out one thought? And that year I came to Yom Kippur and I realized that looking back over my past mistakes in the year that had just gone, transforming them into ways of becoming a better person in the year ahead, what I was doing was actually taking the pain of yesterday and transforming it into happiness for tomorrow. And so we see there's a three-dimensional picture of happiness. On the one hand, we do things which make us happy and others happy in the long term. On the other hand, of course, it's important to try and be as happy as possible in the now. But there's one other dimension. If we can take yesterday's mistakes and we can commit to doing better in the future, then we actually have a model of happiness that transforms the past and makes that give us a happier future. Have a great day.